It's going to be better to be inside, no doubt about that today. Yeah. It's not going to rain all day everywhere. The washout potential for today will be east of I-4, especially along the Space Coast. We've already seen a few downpours slide on through today. We will see those rain chances really ramp up later this morning before lunch. And then as we really get into the early afternoon, I'll show what I'm talking about in just a second. Satellite Beach, good morning. We have some of those showers now moving into Rockledge. We were talking about you guys about 20 minutes ago saying that we had those showers on our doorstep. Palm Bay, we're drying things out for the short term. More rain is coming your way. Miko, we have some showers around as well. We've already been in and out of downpours this morning. The wider spread rain right now is going to be in southeast Florida. Coming out of Miami, the moisture surging in from the Bahamas. All of this down towards Lake Okeechobee going to lift up the peninsula gradually as we move through the morning and then into the early afternoon to make way for those very high rain chances, especially east of I-4. Here we go at 11 o'clock, and this is exactly what I'm talking about. Future Radar paints a very obvious picture here. Who has the better rain chances for us in Ocala, the Villages, Bushnell, Marion, even into most of Lake County, we are going to be on the dry earth side. That doesn't mean rain chances are zero, but you clearly see along and east of I-4 from Daytona Beach into Edgewater, Titusville, certainly through the morning and into the early afternoon. Here is 1 o'clock. Look at how heavy the rain gets. Could even have a few rogue thunderstorms embedded in the mix here from about Melbourne into Mico again, right down through Brevard County as well along east of I-4. As we get into the latter stages of today, here we go from 4 to 5 o'clock. Most of the heavy rain by this point already drifting back out into the Atlantic. Still some scattered showers around, but the heaviest stuff should be over as you head towards dinner tonight. And again, that SpaceX launch later on this evening. I think there will still be clouds around, but... The heaviest stuff in terms of the rain should be out of here by tomorrow. We start to clear things back out as some drier air starts to push back in. Hour by hour forecast for you today. Back to the upper 60s and lower 70s along into the east of I-4. I'll show you the county by county temperature map in a second. It varies significantly as do the rain chances. Again, as a whole, about a 60% shot today. But again, breaking it down because this is such a weird forecast in a very location dependent forecast. Here's what it looks like. A 20% shot for rain up and down the I-75 corridor. 30% shot for us in Leesburg. 30% shot as well in Palm Coast. As you can kind of see that I-4 areas and points to the east carved out as we showed you on future radar. Sky high rain chances for us along the Space Coast today. Actual temperatures right now in the mid-50s in Ocala. We are at 67 in Melbourne, 68 degrees in Cocoa Beach. Here is a live look now for us in Daytona Beach with our Daytona Toyota Deland Kia Skycam for you this morning. Air temperatures in the low 50s. Again, the further north of Orlando you get, we're going to start off with some sunshine. That will change. The clouds do come in for everybody today. Here's the temperature forecast. This is exactly what I was talking about. Upper 60s and lower 70s pretty much along into the east of I-4. But the clouds are going to be thicker. The rain chances are going to be higher. We'll have cloudy skies for us along I-75, but we will be able to warm things up because the rain chances just won't be there as high. If we do get a few scattered showers, we'll see things dry up pretty quickly. Now here's a look at your pinpoint accurate 70 forecast with temperatures today struggling a little bit along into the east of I-4. Again, mid to upper 70s for us in Marion County, even Western Lake and Sumter. Mid 70s tomorrow with increasing sun. 80s return Tuesday through Friday and then another big system takes our temperatures back into the 60s, even some 50s around for Saturday. Overall, great weather here. We I think won't so. Complain. Absolutely. Jonathan, thank you.